All right. Hey, everybody. Cal and Dan here with Birdies and Bourbon. They just released, eh, not just a couple hours ago, they released the featured pairings for Thursday, May the 20th at the PGA Championship, the Ocean Course at Keough Island. And uh, I don't know, Dan wanted to get on here and talk about some bets. I, I think more importantly, he wanted to talk about these pairings. And uh, I feel like you're a little disappointed, Dan, with some of the uh, selections here. Is, is that is that a true statement? Yeah, there was a couple um, couple featured pairings that I wasn't exactly uh, looking forward to watching all day Thursday. Mm. Well, the, I mean, the good news is uh, the first one, uh, first featured pairing goes off at 7.38 a.m. Mm. That's uh, what that's 38 minutes after. Uh, who Tringali Long and Rada tee off. So we got a little bit of a buffer there, but then we're going straight to, uh, well, which I'm kind of excited to watch this one. Uh, I, you know, I don't know if you, if you saw anybody in the first featured pairing that might entice me to watch them uh, as much as possible. Which one is it? Well, it, times. well, well it, it isn't, uh, it isn't Ricky Fowler and it isn't, Terrell Hatton, that's for sure. But Adam Scott, give me Adam Scott first thing in the morning with a cup of coffee. Uh, <laughs> I, may go, I may go straight for the bourbon cream on that one. I, I may have to, uh, I may have to dip my toe in. Uh, but yeah, j- just saying. But here's what I don't get. Um, so Ricky Fowler mm. gets an exemption. Yep. Right. Yep. And Ricky Fowler also gets a featured pairing. So, mm. I mean, I don't know, just thinking out loud here, is that one of those where, uh, hey, hey, Ricky, we'll post you, we'll put you in a featured pairing if, if you'll accept our sponsor's exemption, tournament exemption, tournament exemption. Do you think they needed that? <laughs> I mean, has the guy ever said no to a camera? I, I, I can't imagine that he has i've never seen i mean he's he's been on every commercial he's been in that i've seen so uh, I, I would say no do you but, think it has anything to do with um his new corona commercial, commercial? I, I mean it, it has to right right corona's like okay it, pga championship we're going to buy 20 million dollars worth of commercials this weekend if and, and it and ricky fowler is going to be all over it so yeah. so we may not see him on the weekend so we need as much airtime. Yeah. As we can get because yeah. somebody probably lost their friggin' job. Yeah. Uh, somebody with, uh, with Corona brand. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering who is in their PR department or their branding department, uh, media and advertising. I would like to know, uh, we'd like for them to come on the show actually. So de- they're definitely not going to come on after that, but, uh, yeah. It, the the be good news though, is if he doesn't play the weekends, he's got plenty of beach to shoot a lot more Corona commercials right, right there, right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get, get that, get that man, a, a flowery shirt. And we were talking to PB last night. They could just set up on, what was it? 14 to set up on 14 yeah. all day long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, plenty. So I, I don't know. I'm a little confused. I guess I'm I'm not confused necessarily. I mean, I see the angle that they're going with because, hey, let's get as much Ricky because, I mean, let's let's face it. Uh, his current form says he ain't going to make the uh, which. But however, he typically plays well at the um, at the open. So, you know, I mean, it's one of those if it gets windy and stuff. I mean, you know, everybody's playing bad does it help him? Right. I mean, can he, can he hold on to his current form, which isn't good, but if other people are playing bad, I mean, it, it might do something for him. I don't know. I'm excited, excited to see Adam Scott out there. Uh, and Terrell Hatton, you know, whatever, I guess, I, I don't know where he came in. I don't know what's Terrell. I think he's ranked 20th or so in the world right now. I may have totally screwed that up. Uh, yeah, no, he is not ranked twentieth. I can tell you that. Uh, he's ranked tenth, so yeah, so that's why right. he's yeah. uh, he's in a feature yeah. group. So yeah, uh, yeah. The only the odd man out there, you, th- you think they're going to be standing around the tee box looking over like like fish eyeing him over there, like, hey man, how'd you get in this group? Mm, sponsored by Corona. There you go. <laughs> That'll get you in there. Oh yes, it will. Okay, so the next one, um, I'm not surprised at this group. Uh, the X man, mm. Javi. And Westy, I mean, I think that's a pretty solid feature group. I'm probably going to flip over to that feature group 
man, I'm probably going to watch Adam. I can't lie. <laughs> um, but uh, I think that's good. Hey, and I think that two of the guys out of that group have a chance, have a great chance to win. I think all three of those will make, well, we didn't talk about, let's talk about Bucky's group, uh, Bucky's feature group. Who, you think the, do, do all three make the cut this weekend? No, no. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't. We, we talked about it in our, on our um, fantasy picks uh, show the other day. I don't see Ricky playing that well right now, you know? Yeah, I don't either. I think, uh, you know, Scott, I mean, I'd say he's playing for the, the limited amount that he's playing. I think he's comfortable with it. So I, I think, uh, I think I got two out of three there making the cut on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually like the second group. I like all three of those guys to make the cut. I mean, I think the only one in question for me would be Westwood. But again, when he kind of fell off there uh, what, three tournaments or so ago, I, I mean, I think the only thing that really fell off with West, I think he was just tired, man. Mm-hmm. I think uh, he was just, you know, he was, he was playing too much. He was in contention for what, two weeks in a row, uh, put his, uh, put, put his son on the bag and, you know, that, and obviously his son didn't have anything to do with it, but, uh, but yeah, I, I think he was just tired. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but now the the real feature group, uh, all three are past champions. Two out of the three are two-time winners of the PGA Championship. Uh, do you think they're wondering, like, hey, I wonder why they stuck JT with us and they didn't put another two-time winner in our uh, in our pairing? <laughs> I don't know about that. It's like, uh, that. yeah, because Tiger's not playing, so there, there are no more two-time winners playing. Or, or did the JT tournament. say, "I'll see you on Sunday"? <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, maybe. So, so what's a good name? Uh, we, uh, what, t- as Tattersall might call this, the. Um, uh, fin- closing out the two-time PGA mm-hmm. Championship winners group. Exactly. Uh, so you know, JT, if he pulls it off, he uh, you've got three now current, and I guess you could say viable. I don't know Brooks with that uh, that gimpy knee. I suppose he's still viable there, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, that that is going to be a fun group to watch, though. Uh, I I hope Brooks holds up and plays well. I would like to see him go i i obviously want to see him make the weekend i think it's good for the sport i think it's good for the competitors around him and i don't want to see him win though as much as he goes on about you know hey i I don't i don't practice and i only show up to win majors i i think it's going to be a lot of fun especially could you imagine storyline give me give me roy get so for the final pairings give me rory and brooks give me spieth and give me spieth and brooks Holy shit. They might shut down uh, the internet. Oh yeah. Literally. Especially if speed, you know, if, if it's, if it's coming on hot, I think that would be that. I mean, what a better storyline. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If that were to happen, I know that they're, well, I don't know. I think they've been looking at our web page at our uh, Instagram page at uh, birdies underscore bourbon. I don't, a little birdie may may have dropped me a hint, but I do think that if Spieth and Brooks wind up in the final pairing, it's definitely rigged. It's rigged. It if they wind up in the final pairing, PIP's done for the year. <laughs> They're just going to give it all to them. Yeah. It's going to yeah, give it all totally. to them. Just give it all to them. Just say, let's, we'll split it 50 50 and call it even. How about exactly, that? Guys? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry, Max. <laughs> uh, speaking of, uh, how, how, I Max Homa didn't make a featured pairing. How'd that happen? Hey, he's a he's a winner, man. So I mean, I don't know how you put Ricky in there. I do Corona. I get it. But uh, but about Max Homa just won. I don't know, like a month ago, and he's not in a featured pairing. I don't get that. You know, I mean, he's great for the sport, right? He's I, the he's the new Ricky. Hey, I I can't explain it. I don't know why that's the case. Uh, ooh, he's the new Ricky. You're getting some hate mail from that one. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting some hate now for that one. There can never be another Ricky. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, so I'm probably most excited to watch McElroy, Thomas, and Kepka. I mean, all three uh, long hitters. It's going to be, I, you know, so here's going to be the thing. It, so the weather looks fantastic, by the way. Looks like we're going to see the highs around 80. Lows are going to be in the mid-60s. Probably going to have that little sea mist in the morning. It uh, doesn't look like there's going to, that doesn't look very cloudy. Definitely they're not calling for any rain. Probably means the uh, tropical storm is going to come through now. But 
Um, it looks like everything is set up, man, for this just to be absolutely pristine. And if it's if it's doing what it's doing right now, I mean, the wind's not even really blowing that hard. And that's kind of the that's the that's really the defense of the course. I mean, P PB was talking last night, right? I mean, you, you can get the winds from the east, you get the winds from the west. I mean, you're playing one hole that's 450 and it's actually playing 550. You're playing another hole that's 550 and it's actually playing, uh, you know, 475. So that that's kind of the, the turnabout there. Mm, who uh, else we got? Uh, let's see. Uh, Kala Morikawa. So we've, we've got the defending major winners of last season. So you got Kala Morikawa, Bryson DeChambeau, and Hideki. Well, I guess Hideki's current. So it would be, it would be the current reigning uh, major winners in this mm -hmm. group. So, Heavyweights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, going to be a going to be a good one. Um, who in that group do you uh, who do you who do you think who, who's going to who's leading? After the first round out of that group, who are you picking? I don't like the way Bryson's been playing. I'm going to go with, um, I'm going uh, Colin Morikawa. Ooh, I'm going Bryson. You like the way he's been playing lately? Uh, I think that he's, uh, I, I think he's been trying really hard. Mm. Uh, I think he's been almost trying too hard. And it's got him kind of out of his groove. Mm. I think this course, as long as it is, I think it's going to set up for that kind of try hard attitude. Okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, does attitude win win golf tournaments? He was lights out at the WGC and API and all that. And then he kind of, I guess, took a little bit of time off and just hasn't bounced back the way he has. I mean, get me wrong. I mean, he's a top 10, top five player in the world. So he can do anything he wants this week. Both of his knees work. So you never know. Hey now. <laughs> Shots keep coming. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Well, but, but Hey, speaking of, so speaking of JT winning, uh, this could be, this could be the first time that we, that we had back to back two time winners. Cause you had Kepka in 18 and 19. You could have Colin in 20 and Colin in 21. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think based on everything that I saw, there've been, there've been several back to back winners. Uh, I think mostly Tiger, primarily Tiger Woods, uh, and, and Kepka. Uh, well, yeah. So, but uh, Tiger did it uh, twice at least. Uh, uh, I think he's got five. Uh, I think he's got five PGA Championships under his belt. Okay. And uh, I know he's got four. Uh, yeah, maybe he's just got four, but they were both back to back. Yeah, he's only got four, but both of those. But again, you can you get Kepka back to back, and now you could have Morikawa. I and I, I don't think it, I think it's feasible. I think it could very easily be done. So, but I, let, let me rephrase that: not easily, but I think that he does have the talent and skill to get it done. Mm -hmm. uh, who's next? Uh, oh, hey, here we go. We got another got another champions uh, threesome: Phil Mickelson, Jason Day, and Padraig Harrington. Uh, so that's, that's an interesting one. So does anybody, <laughs> anybody out of this champions pairing make it to the weekend? Uh, no. I know I could uh. easily, uh, easily is the, that's pretty strong, but I, I could definitely bet no on this one mm -hmm. and probably win some money. I could bet that, no and win some money too. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that, but you know, on the other side of the coin, man, I could, I could also see them getting, yeah. Getting kind of hot if the way, you know, if the, uh, if the weather's good, I could see them making the cut. Cause I, I don't, I don't think you're going to have to make a lot of birdies and Eagles to make the cut. I think you're just going to have to not make a lot of bogeys mm -hmm. and, and more importantly, <clears throat> double bogeys. So if you're hitting fairways, I think you could be there. I just, uh, Jason day, it looks like he's uh, he's had my, uh he's been on my diet it looks like for the past uh 12 months or so <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah, absolutely to say my, my face is a little more round than it used to be <laughs> um so i i don't know uh I, I could easily see nobody out of that group making it to the weekend though mm -hmm. uh who we got next uh rombo fleetwood and patrick reed i get could be a rom. winner in this group right here well okay so i get rom i get reed uh, I don't know. Recent form. How did Tommy Fleetwood make the cut? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's, he's see. been a little rough this year. Where's Fleetwood? Where's he ranked at? Maybe that's the. Uh, he's ranked 20. He's ranked 28th. 
So eh, maybe that's uh, that, that could be the the trigger there for him. Uh, Give me two hundred bucks in DraftKings this week. So yeah, I'm a little I'm a little confused. So I put if he ever sees me, he's probably going to punch me. Uh, not and not for this statement. Various other reasons. I, I, I'm kind of looking at Fleetwood and Fowler and kind of the same. Like I don't I don't know why they made the why are they there? Uh, where's Fitzpatrick? where's uh who else is out there that's uh that i mean i I could say like yeah i don't know why they are not in there um cameron smith it's stewart sink where why is stewart sink he's a two-time winner on tour this year cameron smith he just cameron cameron smith uh where sam burns he's not in the feature group is he sam mm-hmm. where's sam, why is sam burns not in the feature group i mm-hmm. i don't you know so I, I don't know what the uh and i i didn't see any reason as to why they pair i know why they didn't pair dj and kepka together uh that's like because uh, it would be too good <laughs> Well, I mean, especially so we got a we got a fist fight on like the second tee. <laughs> it's like exactly. take sweep, but uh, sweep sweep the leg takes them out every time. <laughs> but hey, take the knee out, take the knee out. Mm-hmm. Dalton says. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I I like Fleetwood. I mean, the fairway oh, Jesus is my man. Oh, yeah. I, he it's just I, he's that, I don't know. There's a there's a little gap uh, gap in his game right now. So, uh, but Brahm and Reed. Uh, I'm probably leaning. I mean, if you're saying who's going to win or who's going to finish better, I'm probably leaning Rom over Reed. But but it wouldn't surprise me at all to see Reed pull something off. I mean, it's going to be uh, short game is going to be hot here. Mm-hmm. That, that's going to be a key key stat, and uh, he's been putting extremely well. So not surprised. Yeah, and he's, he he won earlier this year. He's been playing really well. So yeah, I mean, I like the form Reed's been in. So one hundred percent, he deserves to be there. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, so next we've got, and I know why this one guy. He's I, I think he probably requested it. So you got Spieth, Simpson, and Zalatoris. Uh, I think they said, uh, "Hey, Will, who do you want to play with this week?" <laughs> and uh, he's like, "Of course, I want to go to Spieth Island." And mm-hmm. uh, let me let me play with Webb. Uh, you know, their games are a little, you know, may, uh, yeah, maybe not similar, but uh, you know, he probably looks up to Webb. Well, Will Zalatoris has been playing with Speed since he's been like 13 years old or something, yeah, right? And that right, exactly. like nine or something. Yeah. He's been playing with Speed. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so I mean, they know each other really well. Yeah, I don't know how Webb fits into that one, but um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a great grouping. Yeah. Uh, and to finish off Thursday, you got DJ. Shane Lowry and Sergio Garcia. Um, what are these? Uh, this is all uh, the, this is the guy. I mean, except for Shane Lowry, I would call this the, uh, uh, this is the runner up special. Uh, Cause DJ has finished second two years in a row. Sergio's finished second, I think three, maybe four times. Um, mm. But yeah, I, I mean, I think that's going to be a fun group to watch. I think, I think I see all three of those guys making it to, especially if the wind picks up, I think Lowry's going to, uh, it's, it's going to bode. Well, I think it bodes well for both Sergio and Lowry. Uh, I don't know what the knees like with DJ. Uh, we talked about it on, uh, on our DraftKings show. Uh, you know, I think that was an easy way not to have to go to Texas and play. So not piss off any sponsors, but, um, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, who else is out there that you like? Oh, you know who I want to talk about for just a sec? Daly, Walker, and Duffner. These are like the old timer past champs, man. Uh, all three PGA champions and uh, PGA champion winners. Sorry. And uh, I think it's going to be fun. I don't think Daly makes it to the weekend. Well, no. that's another one. I mean, that could be that could be short lived. So if you want to see those guys, watch them on Thursday and Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else is in here that I found kind of interesting from a pairing standpoint? Um, I think this is a Harris English, Stuart Sink, and Alex Noren. I think that's a fun group to watch. Um, oh, here you go. Abe Answer, Max Homa, and Sam Burns. Is there any chance that Homa has already tweeted Answer and <laughs> said, bring a flask of tequila? <laughs> Uh, who else? Gary Woodland, Justin Rose, and Cameron Smith. There could definitely be a winner coming out of that group. Uh, Steve Stricker, Billy Horschel, and Daniel Berger. Uh, I think I did. I pick Berger. I picked Berger's my one and done. Uh, or did I pick Cam Smith? 
think I picked Cam Smith. I think you picked Cam Smith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely wanted to pick Berger though. I think that that's, uh, I think you, you could get a winner. Uh, I don't think Steve's going to, uh, I don't think he'll win. I think you could see all three of those guys make it to the weekend. Um, let's see who else. Okay. Feature group, Ricky Fowler, Adam Scott, and Terrell Hatton. There you go. <laughs> Zach Johnson, Molinari, and Scheffler. That's a, that's a solid group. Hmm. By the way, this barrel pick's pretty solid too. That's a solid barrel pick, yeah. Um, who else? You, you like any other groups in here? Anybody sticking out to you? That's. Um... I think we hit on most of them. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to leave my money where it's at, um, and I guess I can't wait until Thursday morning to watch Ricky Fowler all day. That's all you got, buddy. You think Adam Scott's going to get any camera time, or is it all on Ricky? Oh no, I think Adam Scott's going to get some camera time. I think he's going to play well. You know, he likes those uh, these types of courses. I mean, with the wind and the ocean, he just feels at home. No, oh, he's going to be thinking thinking about surfing. He's going to be mm -hmm. pumped. Mm -hmm. He's going to be thinking, man, if I don't make the cut, I can be well. Surfing isn't that good mm -hmm. inside on on the Atlantic, so it's kind of yeah. like, eh, I'll just stay out here and play a little golf, maybe. So, yeah. it's going to be fun. There are no feature pairings yet for Friday. They're going to release those at the end of play on Thursday. Uh, I've got a feeling that Bucky is going to make the featured pairing group for Friday as well. You think so? Let's do some odds on this. I like uh, this. Uh, let's, oh, let's do okay, some odds. Okay. 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 Go, go ahead. What is he, he going to shoot to not make it on Friday? Uh, what does he have to shoot to not make it? Uh, well, let's see. Ricky won in 2012 here at 12 under. So I think he – what does he have to shoot to make it or to not make it? To not make the cut or to not make uh, the featured I, pairing I think, on Friday. Oh, I, it doesn't. I don't think it matters. You don't think it matters. He's already in. He's in. It makes no difference. Makes mm. no difference. He's going to be in. Uh, let me put it this way. If he shoots better than five over, he's making the he, – he's really? featured. Better than wow. five over. Better than five over. Which, wow. You know, yeah. I mean, I, well, I'm thinking the cut line is going to be – five or six Over? so yeah really? yeah i mean so here's the thing though right i mean because you know they, they they talk about the challenge here is the wind so it could go one of two ways right i mean you could see like if it's real if, if it's really nice out there on thursday and friday i mean you could see some guys potentially go low but then you know you could have shitty weather on the weekend and it could just just completely turn it around yeah but i'm thinking uh, i'm thinking if he's four or five if he's better than four or five over i think he's in the feature group um because i think he so can, he, i think last he, time the cut line was plus six right yeah hmm. yeah so i'm thinking if he's four or five over he could come in and shoot level par maybe one under make the cut at three or four over <laughs> And um, he's, uh, yeah, he's good, good to go, man. And hey, guess what? That means Corona. Hey, that, that means whoever the Corona uh, media guy is and sponsorships, they're getting their job back. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I was just looking here. So minus six, one and uh, plus six was a cut. So you could be right. You could be right. My, uh, you're saying minus six last year in San Francisco. Minus six for the, uh, the 2012 um uh, PGA at Kiwa. No, he won. He was twelve under. He was twelve under. What yeah. Am I reading? I don't know what I'm reading. What are you reading? Where, where, where are you oh, getting? Minus six. Uh, minus six on um, the final round. Okay. Yeah. No. No. He definitely lapped the field. Then he won by a say. He won by six strokes, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. So he he definitely lapped the uh, lapped the friggin' field. Minus thirteen is what he won by. Yeah, he won. Yeah, he won by eight strokes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that that's what we're going to see again this year. I think it's going to be one of these. Somebody's just going to get hot and get on a streak, and they're going to take it away. Uh, God, I hope it. I I would love. I would love to see Spieth and Kepka in that final pairing, and I would love to see Spieth. It's it's like I would love to see David take down Goliath. Mm. Be so good. So mm, good. Oh, that'd be good. What, what about if Bryson and Kepka were in the final pairing? 
Oh, he's going to eat him. <laughs> hey, he's going to be with that gimpy knee. There's no way you can outrun me. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> gimpy knee. <laughs> he's to- totally. He eats him. Uh, who say so here? Here's the here a total miss. Total miss. Mm. DJ Bryson and Kepka. Where was that? Where was that? I know. I know. Yeah. We need it. We don't have it. I don't I don't, we've been asking for it. We've give been it, asking give for it, it to it. Give it. Hey, it, it already looks scripted anyway. It does. G- just, just go ahead and take advantage of it. Exactly. The, the rumor, the rumor reel is spinning. Go ahead and take advantage of it. Give the people what they want. Exactly. I mean, yeah. how sweet would that be? Mm-hmm. Uh, you heard it here first. Uh, Friday, Friday featured pairing Kepka, DJ, and Bryson. Oh, man. Looking forward to it. All right. Cheers. Cheers.